Welcome to the Book of Unwritten Tales 2. I'm Tigus, this is my parent. Hey guys. New game. Don't know what I'm doing. Let's see what's going on. It looks really cool. The music is very epic. It is very Indiana Jonesy. War had raged through all Aventasia. The alliance of humans, elves, and dwarves fought against the evil army of the shadows. Ooh, the shadow war army. Devastated the country for years upon years, and yet no one gained the advantage. I like the animation. And so it was that in that time of deepest despair, that an old archaeologist uncovered the location. I wish he, hit, he was a little bit louder. The mm -hmm. artifact could fulfill every wish and thus decide the war for one side or the other. Led by warlock Monkus, son of Archwitch Mortroga, the shadows hunted for the artifact. They would have reached it first were it not for a group of heroes who stood against him. Wilbur, the young gnome who was the first of his clan to become a mage. Ivo, the courageous elven princess from the woodland realm and the critter. A hairy creature from the Northlands, companion Critter. of the most brilliant Nate Bonnet, who was supposed to spend the rest of his life at the side of an elven princess, who deserved a kingdom and all the riches in the world, who should stop wasting time talking about himself in the third person. I was like, the dialogue is kind of cheesy, ah! but that's because it's meant to be. Because <laughs> Flynn Rider? It's a flying Flynn Rider. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. What 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 do we do? What do I do? Oh, hold on to the rock face. Uh, also, how are we? What did we get into that we're falling from good, this high good. up? This is good. <laughs> okay, I'm immediately entertained. I am immediately entertained. There's a hook on that one. Can we get to it? Mm, nope. We have to climb apparently. Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear. He's like, well, this sucks. That looks like a boat to me. We are above the clouds. Part of the jetty. At least oh, some we were, of that's why. the explosion. Okay, let's walk along the jetty. If I'm you. lucky, this will go all the way up to the island, but somehow I really doubt it will. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Um. <laughs> I am amused. <laughs> Haters of Magic Lab. He sounds like Dubby. No big thing. So, now that we have a little time to kill, why don't you tell me a little something about yourself? Oh, right. Well, um, it does. Yes, I came into this world in an oasis in the Umzu Desert, and at that time, I was... Are you out of your ever-loving mind? Definitely not the time to reminisce. Then why you did ask. you ask? I could use some help here, Benny. Well, you did see what happened last time I cast the spell. Time to make up for it then. Now shake a leg. Oh, I don't know. I might just end up making everything worse. It can't really get worse. Can't you just stop time? Or wings! Give me wings! How about that? Oh, this is all terribly complicated. I really don't feel up to it today, Nate. Benny! Perhaps tomorrow? I really do need to think through what's happened today properly. You get me out of the mess you got us into right now! Please don't yell at me! I just can't take it anymore! <laughs> Benny! Benny, we're gonna die! Ah! Stay easy and we can forget about miracles. I gotta find something easy, something even he thinks he can do. At least we're falling for a long time. Find carpet. Mm-hmm. Or if we grab the other end and form it into a parachute. 
A flying carpet. Is that too much to ask? I'm not talking to you. Why, you... Ugh. I'm sorry I criticized your work, Benny. And? And? And that I shook your lamb. And everything else. You meant... Well... Well, all right, then. I forgive you. Flying carpet, bitch. We're going to be a splat. Mm. A flying carpet. Mm. Shouldn't be too hard. Should I really dare? Yes. Am I really up to it? Yes, Benny. Um. Yes! Um. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, there we go. That was so random. What the heck? Where? Okay. Floating what Island Kingdom? Happened? His face. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> it's so weird and cute. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Nordic Games presents. I can't. My finger games. <laughs> uh oh. Tiny roulette. Oh, oh, it's Wally. Not Wally. It is the random version of Wally. No, you know what I mean. Wow. Adventurer. I am the tutorial, guardian of gameplay, explainer of controls. Explainer of controls. Just click anywhere in the scene, wherever your heart. All right. Well done. If you left click an object, then your character will perform an action. Now click on that big lever. Where's the big lever? Oh, right there. Um, Pull the lever, Kronk. The robot has used the lever, as this seemed logical to him. Now click the lever with your right mouse button so that the robot looks at it rather than uses it. Okay. <laughs> Doot -doot. The robot thinks the lever is working. But if that's so, where is the problem? That hatch over there, left click it. The hatch. Where's the hatch? Behind the robot. Oh. The little chap seems to think there are advanced engine mechanics hidden behind there. Click on yes. the hatch again using the left. Open, repair it. I mean, it's just a bunch of gears. What could possibly go wrong with you slamming them into the ground? He's like, I took this gear out and put it back. Second to use. Why? Because after a player character has looked at something, the most logical thing to do next is use it. <laughs> is the machine working again? Open. Open. Open sesame. Okay, this game is going to be super cute, I think. I like cute. What is even happening here? They're fake waves. Oh. I thought for a second they were buzz saws, Here's but that's just gutsy glory. Better take a closer look at the engine. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very helpful. Please pick up. Okay, I'll pick up both gear cogs. It was not my fault. You told me to click things. Uh, where else do I need to look? Oh. <laughs> He's like, nope. You have to put the gears back. Well, I'm trying. Did you left click or right click? I right clicked. You have to left click for to do things to it. I am left clicking. Oh, maybe I have to open this up. Oh, I have to actually select it. Uh... Excellent. Now the second gear. Oh, it fell out again. I think there's a little bit of a uh, glitch. Go there's a little bit of a uh, glitchy mechanic going on here. Great work. Items you click to open and close your in yeah, I that. In inventory. Use one of the gears in your inventory with the engine of the town model. I'm working on it. There we go. 
Perfect. You better oil the engine before you switch the dented oil can. Still a productive oil can. Let's do it. Whatever this machine does. It's like a giant lighthouse. I think it is. I like the, uh, I feel like we're in an amusement park. Impossible. The stitched mountain. You can examine objects in the inventory in more detail. Pick up the damaged figure and the toolbox. Then when you are in the inventory, right click the tool. I do not, I, I've never been a big fan of, um, tutorials. Box. Did you right click on it? I. Oh, here we go. Great. You found a few items in the tool. wobbly hammer, worn down screwdriver, and strong tape. By initially left clicking the first object, and then when you have this item on the cursor, you left click the second object. Try to repair the figure in the inventory. Uh oh! <laughs> what do I need to use? Well done. Oh, here we go. I just needed to tape it together. Back in its rightful place on the balcony of the castle and start. Pull the lever. I have to place it on the balcony of the castle. Right there. <laughs> Excellent. Now wait. One last time. If you press the space bar, all interesting objects in the scene will be interesting displayed. objects. Good luck with your adventures in the book of unwritten tales. It's so random. So now we've learned how to be a mechanic. About you. Oh, mother. So What's pretty. wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Is Ivo the Elven Princess? Probably? No, you don't look well at all. Positively rotund. <gasps> Bitch! It is unseemly for an elf princess to cope with her frustrations by comfort eating. Push up a balcony. If like this, you won't fit into your wedding dress. I don't have any intentions of marrying anytime soon. Oh, darling, we've been through that already. Prince Lalilos is going to be arriving next week. You will like him. He's charming and look, he sent us a picture of himself and his sister. Um, which of the two is the sister? <laughs> the elf nobility, unfortunately, has not got any unshaven Neanderthals to offer. You'll just have to get used to that. <laughs> I don't have the slightest interest in that person, not anymore. You are at the heart of the Elf Kingdom, in the castle of your family where you belong. No one here should be sad, tired, or fat. <gasps> I only want what's best for you, Ivan. Stop body shaming the princess, you bitch! She's pretty mean. She's like, oh, I'm sad my daughter doesn't communicate with me because I'm a huge bitch. Ugh. She's minuscule. Cheep, cheep. She is. Uh, she locked me in. <laughs> She's locked me in. Yes, cheep, cheep. only what's best for me. She always says that. Have you seen this prince? A vain river elf who's only interested in topping up his tan. I'm to spend hundreds of years in the company of someone I don't love. Huh, not me. 
Hey, you think Elvis would take that into consideration a little more? And how? She will try anything and everything. Nothing's more important to her than getting me married off. Maybe our bird will be our best friend. When I was out there with the humans, it was the first time that I had the feeling I could determine my own destiny. Yes, it was dangerous. Doesn't that go with the territory? A life without risk, that is so... so... Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> if I could, I would go Couldn't right Couldn't she now. just, like, get married and then, like, you want fuck to stop off into me? the wilderness? Huh? Just like Maybe. last time. Because all they Didn't care is that she that has her wedding. I've not been feeling True. too well lately, Cheap. I'd say the same thing, but we elves hardly ever get ill. Yeah, you've got a point there. I spent almost a year in the human world, and they have some very strange ideas about personal hygiene. Well, I like our bird. I thought, mm -hmm. perhaps it's a curse. Oh, no, you won't. I'll take care of it myself. Mother would make a state occasion out of it. I wish there were bird translations. I right? don't know either, but I'm sure there's a medical book down in the library. No, rest is not what I need just now. I'll go down to the library and look up what's wrong with me, completely alone, just like a grown-up elf. <laughs> I'm not going to be stopped, neither by locked doors nor by you. He's like, no. He's like, look how cute I am. Appreciate me. <laughs> oh, this is this is entertaining. I like it. It's kind of it kind of reminds me a bit of Broken Age mixed with um, King's Quest and some of the other games we've been playing. There's a weird bunny thing on her bed, and leopard print. I've been sleeping badly of late, and sometimes I feel tired all day long. I've never been ill, but something isn't right. I hope I'll find the answer in the library. Maybe she's pregnant. <sighs> when Nate and the others lived here, that would explain Nate exhaustion and rotundness. I don't know why, but I know Mother wasn't happy about it. She moved him to a guarded guest room at the other end of the castle. And Cheap Cheap was ordered never to leave my side. So Nate was hitting on her? And her mom was like, Hells no! That makes sense. An envoy from the Far East gave me this musical box years ago. Wherever I go, I always have its tune in my head. We have a lot of boobage going on. <laughs> it's true. Sounds nice. I thought Cheap Cheap is totally just checking himself out in the mirror. He's like, yeah. It's like, I, I'm the... Best I like our warrior lady statue. That's really cool. The guard with a spear and shield, and like all elven figures, immaculate. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll have a lot of fun. I don't know what all this game will involve, but it seems pretty cool. Oh, there's the drawing in the back of the blob creature. See? Oh! Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give us a like, a subscribe, and a comment, and thanks for watching. Bye.